Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to use Gum Loop. If you are into automating tasks or building powerful AI workflows without code, then today's video is for you. We are doing a step by step tutorial on how to use Gum Loop, one of the newest platforms that lets you build AI agents, automate actions, and connect tools all in one place. So if you're wondering what exactly is Gumloop or you maybe have little idea. So I'll tell you Gumloop is a no code automation tool that lets you create smart workflows using AI, APIs, databases and apps all visually. Think of it like Zapier or Make.com but with deep AI integration built right into the flow. You can connect tools like OpenAI, Webhooks, Google Sheets, APIs and more and chain them together to build powerful automations. And the best part is you don't need to write a single line of code. Everything will be done based on AI and different options. Accessing Gumloop is super easy and simple. You just have to go to the browser and search for gumloop.com and log in with your account. You can create your workflow through your template or by just simply doing it from scratch. If you go to templates, there are hundreds and thousands of different templates available. You can either search for them or you can just simply scroll and explore based whatever you like. You can just simply select that one. Using template makes your work very much easier because everything will be there. You just have to connect your account. But if you want to do it through scratch, then you have to put a little bit effort, but that's not very hard. You can easily do it. Once you get to into your workbook or you can see your workplace, there you will see this option for add your first node. You can either click onto it or the plus icon from the left and you can add anything. There are so many different ones like these Google ones or many more. But I'll show you a very simple way to do it. So first I'm going to add the input one, which is the flow basics. So in that case, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the link of a website and I want some data from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just writing its URL. If you have it, you can just simply do the copy and paste and input. You can actually name it anything, but I'm just going to keep it input and into this option. I'm just going to turn on both of these option. Once I have opened it up, now what I have to do is that I have to add the second section so for that reason we just have to simply get back and click onto that search option from the left side again and then search for website scraper if you're doing it for different purpose then you may get the different options as per your need i'm using this one because the plan i have chose this will be really helpful for it whenever we add a node or you can call it a section we have to connect it to the next one so this is the way that you have to just simply connect it and in the input, I am just going to drag and drop to the URL. Now I'm just going to run the command. So for that, on the right side, you can see I have this run option. You may have the same one. You have to just simply run it. And if it says success, that means our work is done. We have done the right thing. So once you see this success option, that means it is done. Now we have to move to the next step. Now in that my case, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the AI. So there's a node which is named as Ask AI. I'm going to use it. It will do work for me. So on the left side, I'm just going to go again and search for Ask AI. This is the one that you can see. I'm just going to add up there and now I'm just going to connect it. So here I have this option for the prompt. In the prompt, I'm going to ask it to give me a one-liner description from the website link that I have given to it. If you're doing it for another purpose, then you will do a different prompt based on your need. But here I'm just going to ask it to write just one line description of the website. Whatever website link you add, you will get the description for it. Here I have added the Canva, therefore I will get it. So there we also have the model, you can choose it. Now we have to just simply connect these two ones and then just simply drag and drop the input in the prompt. After we have done it, we have to run the command. For that, just simply click onto that run option and then if it shows success on the right side, then means we have done the right thing. 
now what it is going to do is that it's going to give me that description and you can see on the right side it is giving me the description of the website link i have provided so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put that in a file so for that i am just going to connect the google sheets when you're doing it and you want the output in a separate file you can also do it whether you can get the google sheet google documents or any other web now here we first have to simply pick a file because you can see i don't have the option to connect so for that i have to pick a file and there we must have some sort of rows created then just simply connect it and paste the input into the field after doing that just simply run the command and then open the google sheet and there we will see whatever the ai has given us a one-liner description it will be there so here you can see on the right if it says success and it will show the link of the driver file so what i'm going to do is once i get the link i will click onto that google sheet link i will click onto it the sheet will open and there i will see the description you can see this the link i open it up and here you can see the description is written so that, that's how you can see it does it work right now i have only shown you a simple example of how it does work it's a very simple one the things can go very much complex and every work that you do is actually different from other work based on your needs and requirement so you may be using different sort of nodes different sort of options maybe different from what i have shown you so you just have to simply explore all the options all the platforms that are into it and you will get the idea how does it work so that's how you can use the gum loop i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you're new to this channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates leave a like comment if you have any queries feel free to ask thank you so much for watching the video